Alright, so probably Brothers is at Haogang today, right in front of this development called Park Vera, which is also right across the Serangoon Park connector in District 19. My name is Melvin Lim, I'm with Beatrice Lim, my listing specialist. We have a two-bidder here at Park Vera for sale on the high floor. We're excited to show you the home tour. Let's check it out. Alright, let's go. Park Vera is made up of 452 units, made up of two bidders, two plus study, three bidders and four bidders. It was completed in 2015 by Simlian developers. In this particular two bedroom unit, 786 square feet, you've got two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the location of Park Vera. This project is located along Haogang Street 32. It is two bus stops away from both MRT stations at the bus interchange at Haogang MRT Station and Coven MRT Stations. And both stations are the northeast lines. This part belongs to somebody that wants to stay very near to the Holy Innocence Primary School because it's only within 500 meters away. And if your child is going to study in that school, it is on a walkable distance distance and you don't have to cross major roads along the walkway and that gives you a lot of convenience for your family. Usually people at Park Vera, they utilize the KPE a great deal because KPE is just right over at this corner of Tampines Road. You don't have to drive through the entire Haogang Estate to reach the KP exit point. Alternatively, you can also go via Difu and that brings you to Bartley Connector. And for people who drive, this is a great place to head up to work and head back home. So pass it back to Beatrice. So coming back into this unit, in this area you can easily put up some shoe cabinets over here and then we also like that this dining area here, you have this L-shaped wall. You can put in some display cabinets or uh, more storage options if you need. So for the kitchen, you've got your dry kitchen and your wet kitchen. If you don't like this open concept kitchen, you can actually put in some glass windows, sliding door here and then you can enclose your kitchen space. Coming over here is your wet kitchen area. Lots of storage here. You've got your Bosch cooker hob and then you've also got your Bosch oven. So you can do all your heavy cooking here. So this will be your laundry area, your washing area. And then you've got a bomb shelter here for all your storage needs. And then over here, you've got more storage as well, where you can put all your dishes. Before we show you the rest of the unit, Melvin is going to share with you more about the evolution of two bedders here in Singapore. In the early 2000s, a typical two-bedder usually has no balcony. They're usually constructed in the range of about 1,000 square feet. Due to the fact that they have no balconies, the internal space is always fantastic, it's extremely huge. And that category belongs to properties built in the 1996, 1998 or early 2000 period. Now, over the past 10 years, the typical two-bedroom layout will look like this. So let's have a look at the floor plan. So it has a balcony, a longish living dining space with an entrance foyer. Bedrooms are all tucked into a corner along with a nice private walkway. You have an enclosed kitchen, yard space, home shelter, and importantly, you have two bathrooms. So right now, usually there's no more enclosed kitchen. It's usually an open kitchen kind of concept. There's no more yard space. There's no more bomb shelter. And right now, over the past few years, we noticed that the very popular layout belongs to the two bed, one bath with no common bathroom. So this particular one that we're standing in Park Vera, which is the 786 square feet one, belongs to the onset of the earlier evolution because it was designed in the early part of 2011. So you have all these things on my right hand side, which is the enclosed kitchen. You even have an open kitchen concept. You have the yard space, home shelter, two bathrooms. So in order to enjoy all this, let's check out the rest of the interior space of Park Vera. So over here, we have your common bathroom. You've got your standing shower with uh, glass doors. We think it's very well maintained. Ventilation windows, definitely moving condition. So this is your common bedroom. It's a very squarish layout. You can put in your single bed or super single bed. Your built-in wardrobe here, that's still very well maintained as well. Coming into the master, this is a really comfortably sized master bathroom. You've got your long standing shower and then ceramic tiles. It's very well maintained, very well kept. 
I think you would be very comfortable in this uh, master bathroom and it's not facing your bed as well. So coming into the master bedroom, the first thing that uh, will immediately strike you in this room is just how bright it is. You've got a lot of natural light coming in because you've got full length glass windows uh, spanning across the entire wall. We have a king size bed. You can easily put in a side table over there. We've got your two panels of wardrobe space. This is really well maintained as well. And then over here, we put a chest. You can have a TV console right here and then have your TV right here. Uh, that's doable as well. The floors in this master bedroom as well as in all the other rooms is teak parquet with timber skirting. Parquet is definitely better than any kind of laminate. Uh, it's a lot more durable. All you need to do is maybe varnish it and you're good to go. Now let's have a look at some of the upcoming things that's happening around Park Vera. Let's go. There are six stacks of two bathers in Park Vera. Three stacks face towards the south, three stacks face towards the north. Now what is happening right in front here is a BTO project that's going to be completed this year in 2020. And this is called Haogang River Court. At stack six, it faces towards this direction, which is towards the Daifu Industrial Estate, plus the Paleba Air Base. Just nice, we clear off towards the right side of the HGB building that is coming up. So at this direction, your living room and your bedrooms has an unblocked view that no buildings are going to come up in the next 10 years. So what is going to happen in the next 10 to 15 years starting from 2030 is that Paya Air Base is going to be relocated and this entire space is going to be rezoned into residential zoning. In the next 10 years, Daifu Industrial is also going to undergo transformation. It's going to be transformed into more high precision engineering and tech sector industries. So this is actually zoned as HDB's fifth neighborhood mini town center. It's going to be right in front of your park vera entrance. So you're going to get a supermarket, food court and shops and eateries. It's going to be very, very convenient. And let's head back in. All right, so some mini facts about the site plan. At the moment that you drive in, you'll notice that there's a nice grand entrance zone with a security post there. And you're greeted by a nice multi-story car park coupled with a lot of vending machines. You also have a full-size tennis court, nice lab pool, which is located on level three on top of the multi-story car park coupled with a cascading waterfall that brings you down to level one. And that's where the kids pool and jacuzzi pool is located and nice function room, gym that's overlooking the entire pool deck. So looking at the other two bidders in the Haogang area, you have Midtown Residences, which TOP in 2016, over 1,400 PSF. They are about 646 square feet, asking for about 950,000. You also have Nang Residence, uh, which TOP 2015, uh, they're asking about 1,003 PSF. The two bidders here are less than 600 square feet. And then you also have uh, Tembusu, which is a freehold development, TOP in 2017, about 1,008 PSF. Two bidders there, 764 square feet, asking for about 1.36 million. Trilift, which TOP in 2018, which works out to be slightly above 1,007 PSF. The biggest two bidder here is at 690 square feet, asking for about 1.22 million. So this one right here is asking for 880,000. So if you're into a nice quantum that you're looking at below 900,000, then Park Vera 2 beta might be one of the suitable choice for your selection. So just to recap, this is a two bedroom unit, 786 square feet. Really suitable if you're a young couple or you're a small family and you love to live in the Haogang area or if you're looking to upgrade to a private condo around here. Alright, so we hope that you enjoyed this home tour at Park Vera with us and uh, Property Bros has a lot of upcoming home tours right here in 2020 and do click on the, the subscribe button down below also on the bell button to receive the notification on our next home tour uh, my name is melvin lim beatrice lim property lim brothers, brothers always, always happy to show you the place we wanted to uh, reorientate where you put your bed actually you could easily sorry, 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 sorry. In, uh, <laughs> i'll do, I'll do the interior you do, so. the, you do the main interior then maybe like i can do like the the, the toilet sure 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 <laughs> If Melvin shall show you the house. <laughs> no, we continue. <laughs>